Wow, that was a really cool episode of Death Battle. Except they gave Omni-Man the win? What? You said Saiyan. Remember it. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I'm pretty sure I speak for every Dragon Ball fan when I say that this was pretty bullshit a little bit. So th this video, I'm gonna be going down why this result is so inaccurate, especially when you take into account actual Dragon Ball power scaling. I won't be covering Invincible or Omni-Man's feats very much because I don't know too much about that series. I do know that they wanked a few feats for Omni-Man, but I'll let them keep that because Bardock wins even with those wanked feats. I'll be covering the three versions of Bardock that they brought up. I'll be using the original special from 1990, the episode of Bardock OVA from 2011, and Dragon Ball Super for Bardock of modern day. All of these versions stomp Omni-Man, by the way. Going back to the original special, Bardock is noted to have a power level pretty close to 10,000. This is backed up in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which does have lore implications for the anime, with them remarking that Bardock's power level is around 10,000. But what exactly can you do with a power level of 10,000 in Dragon Ball? Quite a lot, actually. For example, the Tree of Might movie pamphlet says that Garlic Jr. has a power level of about 1500. Garlic Jr. created the Dead Zone, which is defined as a hyperspace in the Daisenshu guidebooks. A hyperspace is defined as a space of four or more dimensions, making this a 4D feat. And obviously, Bardock is significantly stronger than Garlic Jr. But if you don't want to use that, that's fine. Universal Bardock against Omni-Man would be pretty overkill, so let's just stick to more reasonable stuff. Like how Bardock should be relative to King Vegeta based on various contexts that I'll explain in a minute, and King Vegeta was able to destroy multiple planets with the wave of his hand. King Vegeta's power level has never been officially stated, however, we do know that Vegeta surpassed him when he was young, and we know that King Vegeta was the strongest Saiyan at the time of planet Vegeta's destruction, based on the Daisenshu. All of this means that Bardock and King Vegeta should actually be relative within the 10,000 range. Bardock can also transform into a great ape, which is stated to have a 10 times boost from base form, meaning Bardock would have a power level of 100,000. For comparison, in the Saiyan saga, Vegeta had a power level of 18,000, and he was able to casually one-shot a planet and its moon, a feat that some calcs have actually put at star level, and a great ape Bardock would be about five times stronger than this, based on power levels. Get me a star level feat for Omni-Man, and then maybe we'll talk. But at least now, it can't get much worse. But it did get worse. I remember there was a debate on whether or not they were even going to give Bardock Super Saiyan, but they did, and now it's everyone's problem. Especially mine, because I have a lot of work to do. First things first, Bardock 100% got a Zenkai boost. For those who don't know, every time a Saiyan recovers from the brink of death, their battle power increases. Basically, they get stronger from getting punched a lot. The first Zenkai boost we ever saw in the series was from Vegeta, where he went from a power level of 18,000 to 24,000. But the biggest Zenkai boost we've ever seen was from Goku on Namek, where he went from a power level of 90,000 to 3 million. To make sure everyone's happy, I'll cover both extremes. We know Bardock got a Zenkai boost because this little alien thing healed his wounds that he very visibly got after getting beaten up by Frieza's men. Factoring the Zenkai boost in, Bardock's base form goes from at least 13,000 to 300 133,000. And I'm actually inclined to go with the bigger number here considering Daisenshu says that in order to become a Super Saiyan, you need to surpass what's physically possible for a normal Saiyan. Using the official multiplier of Super Saiyan, which is 50 times base form, we learn that Bardock has a power level of 16 million. Do you know what a power level of 16 million can do in Dragon Ball? Second form Frieza had a power level of 1 million, and he was confirmed to be capable of destroying the entire universe in the anime. Even the heavily suppressed final form Frieza was confirmed to be able to destroy the universe in the anime, which is something that's backed up in guides as well. Even if we want to use the significantly smaller 13,000, that would still put Super Saiyan Bardock at over 600,000, making him stronger than first form Frieza. The same first form Frieza that destroyed planet Vegeta, which is another feat that calcs have put at star level. So we have a Super Saiyan Bardock that's sitting from anywhere from 600,000 to 16 million, and, and Omni-Man wins, I guess. I, I Sure, I guess, like... Fire and rain, call me the hurricane.
Dragon Ball Super Bardock doesn't have any set power level, nothing that's been officially disclosed anyway, so this is probably going to be the most difficult part of the video for me to explain, but follow my train of thought, I think I have an accurate way to portray where Bardock should be in Dragon Ball Super. During the fight with Gas, Gas actually notes that he represents a limit that no Saiyan is able to surpass. Given the general opinions on Saiyans at the time, especially from members of like the Ginyu Force, along with statements from Toyotaro, I think we can actually pinpoint somewhere roughly where Dragon Ball Super Bardock should be. During the Namek Saga, Ginyu estimates Goku's power level to be about 60,000, which Jace finds absolutely unbelievable. If Gas holds a similar belief, then that means that Gas most likely thinks that a Saiyan's peak should be roughly under 50k, 60k. This is something that's actually backed up by Toyotaro with him remarking that the modern day heaters are stronger than Nappa, the Ginyu Force, and are probably around the same level as Otto and Kato from the OVA Yosan Goku and his friends return. Abo and Kato, most commonly compared to Frieza, most likely first form Frieza. Now, I'm not insinuating that Bardock is on par with first form Frieza here, but I am saying that my 50 to 60k number from earlier isn't that far-fetched for gas, and Bardock being stronger than that would be about 70k. It's even crazier if you take into account that the narrator in Dragon Ball Z said that Goku on his trip to Namek was surpassing what was normal for a Saiyan, and Goku arrived on Namek with a power level of 90,000. Bardock could very well be at that level, if everything I've said so far is correct. As absurd as it is, Bardock might actually have a power level of 90,000 or higher during the gas fight, and that would up his great ape form to about 900,000. A lot of this is just speculation, but in my opinion, this is probably the best way to decipher how strong Bardock is is roughly during Dragon Ball Super. Of course, he could be significantly weaker than this. We have no definitive way to prove this. Yada, yada, yada. Power levels are both the real for those that don't know, Death Battle typically likes to use comp versions of characters. A comp character is basically a combination of several different continuities. They do this a lot, actually. So what would our comp Bardock look like? Well, I propose that we use the Dragon Ball Super Bardock base form, because that's far more concrete than my hypothetical 300,000 base form for episode of Bardock. Combined with the ability to go Great Ape and Super Saiyan, that should give us the proper comp Bardock that should have been used in the Omni-Man vs. Bardock fight. In base form, this Bardock would have a power level of 70,000 to 90,000. In Great Ape, he would have a power level of 700,000 to 900,000. And as a Super Saiyan, 3.5 million to 4.5 million. Once again, for comparison, second form Frieza had a power level of 1 million and was confirmed to be able to destroy the entire universe. The heavily suppressed final form Frieza was also confirmed to be able to destroy the universe, something that's backed up in guidebooks as well. And Bardock should actually be stronger than that heavily suppressed final form Frieza based on power levels. Even if you want to go a more conservative route, Super Saiyan Bardock should still be at least large star level, something that Omni-Man is 100% not reaching. I think it's funny how Death Battle made it look like the Bardock needed Super Saiyan to surpass Omni-Man's speed. That was funny. We already know the spirit. 